talked about differentiating your business or branding. Okay, how do I differentiate when I go into a salon or even a salon I'm working? How do I differentiate myself from the person who comes in tomorrow or yesterday or brings in the three cases of shares? Okay. How many of y'all speak left-handed? There are a few of us in our right mind. Okay. <laughs> left-handed cutters fall into four categories. Okay. First category is a left-handed person who cuts with their right hand using a right-handed shear. They're out there. Okay. Discussion for another day. <laughs> Number two. Left-handed person cutting with their left hand using a left-handed shear. Anytime you run into a left-handed person, can I see your shears? You need to determine whether they're cutting with a true left-handed shear or a right-handed shear. Okay. Number two is cutting with a left hand with a left-handed shear. Very simple. You put the shear in your left hand. Hint. Show them the shear, talk to them just like you would to a right-handed person about the benefits to them of that shear, get it in their hand. Okay. The last two categories are left-handed people <coughs> cutting with their left hand using a right-handed shear. They may or may not know that that's a right-handed shear. Okay. That's why you ask to see it. The first category may not realize the difference and they <clears throat> you need to explain it so they're not taking advantage of it in the future. The first of those who use their left hand with a right handed shear are the proverbial too busy talking to listen. We've all run across them. Everyone in the salon knows that person. Don't waste your time. Okay. Give them a what Bonnie calls uh, <clears throat> an ambidextrous shear. In the Banica line, it would be the Banica Easy. It's a right-handed shear. They've moved the finger rest over, and they've flipped the screw over, the jewel over, so it looks right in your left hand, but it's a right-handed shear. Give it to them. Isn't that smooth? Doesn't that feel nice in your hand? I think you'll like that, and go on. <clears throat> the second of those people using their left hand with a right-hand shear their hand hurts all the time. <clears throat> okay? They are ready for a change. These are the people to spend your time on. It's an investment. Okay? You need to step back and talk to them about the anatomy of a hand. Differentiating yourself. The natural position of a hand, okay? the knuckles will curve the fingers in a little bit. The curvature of the thumb Okay, we'll pull a little with the fingers and push with the thumb. That will close the blades on your shear, the shearing action. If I take a right-handed shear and put it in my left hand, the natural position, I'm doing just the opposite. Instead of going this way, I'm going this way. Instead of going this way, I'm going this way. So instead of closing the shears, I'm opening them. On either of these last two people, if you give them a left-handed shear, a true left-handed shear, they have convert, converted, converted their, their hand, okay? So instead of on the curvature of the thumb pushing, that left-handed person will cram that thumb through and pull back. Instead of the natural curve of the hand, okay, they will be pushing. Okay. We do a lot to overcome the right hand people. Okay. If you try that with your right hand, that's very uncomfortable. It's very hard on the hand. Okay. However, a lot of these folks have been doing it for 10, 15, 20 years. They have developed a habit. Okay. Jim in his class yesterday, I loved it. Uh, his comment was practice makes no, it doesn't. Practice makes permanent. Mm -hmm. If you practice wrong, you will be permanently doing it wrong. 
These people have trained their muscles to go in the opposite direction. Okay. 21 days to develop a habit, about 21 days to undevelop a habit. You need to talk to them about transition. They're going to have to change their cutting if they want to go to a true left-handed shear and if they want their hand to not hurt every night. That's why I say there's two categories. The ones that will listen to you and the ones who are willing to change are going to be pleasantly surprised about how well their hand feels after they convert to a left-handed shear. But you've got to talk them through the transition. Okay? 21 days to unlearn, 21 days to learn, 42 days. If you're offering a 30-day satisfaction on a shear, you might consider extending that to 60 days with a left-handed person who's willing to take a chance of converting and explain to them that you're extending that. Explain to them why you're extending that and encourage them through that transition process.